In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create epic historical AI animations. Using Pixverse AI, you can create amazing looking transitions and effects. Like this woman turning to stone when struck by lightning. Or a temple crumbling apart and flooding during a storm. Using the transition feature, we can direct camera movements in our AI videos by adding a first and last frame and letting the AI fill in what's in between. In Pixverse, you can extend your own videos and make them longer if you need. And also add lip sync to your characters to give them voices. But something, perhaps fate, left me untouched. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create epic historical AI animations. This one about the lost city of Atlantis. We grew arrogant. We forgot the gods who gifted us such beauty. And on that day, the day the sea claimed us, the skies turned black. The waters roared like wild beasts, devouring the streets, the temples, the lives we cherished. But Poseidon showed mercy in his wrath. As the waves rose to swallow us whole, he turned us to stone, preserving our faces, our stories frozen in time beneath the waves. I felt his power wrap around me cold and heavy, but something, perhaps fate, left me untouched. I've logged into Pixverse and I'm at the home screen. I'll put the links in the description. The prompt bar and video creation tab is in this box at the bottom of the screen. There's a lot of options here for generating videos, but I want to start with this transitions feature, which I think Pixverse does really, really well. The way this works is we upload a first image frame and a last image frame and Pixverse fills in what's in between. So for example, if I want to direct camera movement in a scene, that starts with a clear blue sky and pans down to a city. I can upload an image of the sky and then a bird's eye view of Atlanta city as the first and last frames. By default, the video is generated in turbo mode, which is fast but low resolution. So I'll choose the 1080p mode. And in the prompt, I'll say, the camera pans down to the ancient city. Let's go ahead and create the video. And we'll get this nice continuous shot with the camera panning motion, just like we wanted. The transitions feature is great for a lot of different dynamic visual effects. That's something Pixverse does really well. In my animation, I want visual effects of people turning into stone. So I'll start with this photo of an old lady as a first frame and a stone statue as the last frame. I'll describe the scene in the prompt bar. The woman transforms into a stone statue, blue lining and sparks rain in the background. So to actually create the reference images for people turning into stone, I used a mid-journey image creator. I've already generated this AI photo of a character, like this close-up of a man. And inside mid-journey, find the editor tab on the sidebar. We'll drag in our photo of the male character. Then in the menu bar, go to retexture, which basically lets us add a new skin to the character while preserving the original shape. In the prompt, ask for a side profile photo of a stone statue. There's some lightning in the background to transform our picture into. Then if I generate the images, it'll create a new photo of the man transformed into a stone statue, which we can then use as the first and last frame for the transitions feature in Pixverse to animate. Pixverse does really good with explosive visual effects. Overly exaggerated effects like these rocks crumbling also work great. Kind of like cinematics from a cartoonish video game like Clash of Clans. By the way, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more in-depth AI video guides like this one. We can also use a regular video generator inside Pixverse. For this guide, I'll be animating image references into videos. So let's attach this photo of a man sitting next to a tiger, enjoying a glass of wine. And in the prompt, I'll ask for the man drinks a glass of wine, the tiger sits. Again, I'll change the video resolution to 1080p. So if you create videos in the highest resolution, right now you can only generate up to 5 second videos. But there is a video extension feature I'll show you later on, which will let you generate longer videos even in higher resolution. You can choose between some different styles. I didn't use this since I already attached an image reference. And then there's an option between normal and performance mode. It's not what it sounds like. Performance mode just means the visual effects are more pronounced and exaggerated. Normal mode worked fine for me. The animation quality is pretty good. Although sometimes Pixverse struggles to follow the prompt exactly like we want. I asked for the tiger sitting down, but it gets up and walks around anyways. For simple effects, Pixverse does a really good job, like the statue's eyes to glow blue with an angry face. In this video, I asked for gold coins to rain down. The video consistency and detailed preservation is really good. 
and there's really any big deformations or warping. Pixar's does add in exaggerated animation sometimes, like many other video generators. For this animation, walking into the ocean, the water makes a huge splash out of nowhere. One thing you will notice is that it likes to animate people speaking a lot, which might not always be something you want, but I will show you how to use the lip sync feature to actually add voices to these characters. There's an editive prompt where you can put stuff you don't want to happen, like talking or speaking, but I haven't found this to be that effective. I've already reported this issue to Pixburst, and they've told me that this will be improved in the new version. Overall, I'd say the animation quality is really solid though. By the way, I created all the image references for these videos in Midjourney. I'll show you a couple prompts right now. There's a few more features in Pixburst that I think are worth talking about. One is the lip sync feature. We'll need a video file of a person. In this case, I've already got a couple that I generated of this older woman inside of Pixverse. These can be videos of someone's face. It's okay if there's some hand gestures or head movements inside. Then I'll upload an audio file I have of an AI voice for the character. We forgot the gods who gifted us such beauty. And then we can create the lip sync of her speaking. We grew arrogant. We forgot the gods who gifted us such beauty. The AI audio was created in Eleven Labs, where you can enter a small text narration and create an audio file of the text. If you're curious, the voice I used is called Seer Morgana. Another cool feature Pixarus has is the Extend Video feature, which lets you extend videos you've already got by 5 seconds. So I have this 5 second long video of the old lady, it zooms in and shows her smiling slightly. But I want to make it a bit longer. So I'll go inside the Extend tab, and then we can actually upload a local video file right here. I'll adding a prompt, for example, static camera, and also bump the resolution up to 1080p. The Extend feature does a good job of preserving the original video style. The transition is also fairly smooth. However, you'll notice it doesn't always follow the prompt that well. It asks for a static camera, and it just keeps zooming in. This is a really cool feature because you can take any video you have locally and extend it, instead of it only working on videos already created using Pixverse. As far as the cost, Pixverse does have a free plan and you get daily credits, but if you want to try all the features I've showed here, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. I do think it's worth checking out the free plan though. And here's a complete animation we have about the lost city of Atlantis. I was there, child. When Atlantis still breathed beneath the sun, gleaming with towers of crystal and streets paved with gold, I was young then, with hair as dark as the midnight sea, <laughs> and laughter that echoed through the marble halls in the temple of Poseidon. We grew arrogant. We forgot the gods who gifted us such beauty. And on that day, the day the sea claimed us, the skies turned black. The waters roared like wild beasts, devouring the streets, the temples, the lives we cherished. But Poseidon showed mercy in his wrath. As the waves rose to swallow us whole, he turned us to stone, preserving our faces, our stories frozen in time beneath the waves. I felt his power wrap around me, cold and heavy. But something, perhaps fate, left me untouched to wander the world above, carrying the memory of a city lost to pride in the depths. If you want to learn how to create consistent AI characters of the same person in different video scenes, go look at this tutorial right here.